Don't worry, little kitty. The doctor said it was a minor fracture and will heal in no time. Well, let me explain that by answering a healing question. How does a broken bone heal? Zoom in! Sometimes, when we accidentally fall or experience a significant impact, our bones can break, a condition also known as a fracture. The duration of the recovery process depends on various factors, including which bones are fractured, the location of the fracture, the cause of injury and the type of fracture. Yes, this can range from the smallest type, called a stress fracture involving tiny cracks in the bone, to the largest type, known as a comminuted fracture, in which the bone breaks into more than two pieces. Other types include the green stick fracture, buckle or torus fracture, avulsion fracture, growth plate fracture and compression fracture. The doctors will treat each of these types as they see fit. But despite the differences, the basic principles of the bone healing process remain the same. Let's dive into it. You see, when a bone breaks, there is a potential for bleeding. So the body responds to this by initiating a process called hemostasis to constrict the blood vessels and a blood clot is formed to stabilize the broken ends of the bone. This often results in the swelling in the broken region. Over the next few days, the body enters the inflammatory phase as the immune system sends white blood cells, particularly macrophages, to the fracture site. Their mission is to clear the mess and germs around the brain reducing the risk of infection. Then within a week or two, the body enters the reparatory phase and dispatches chondroblasts, specialized cells responsible for the formation of cartilage. These cells get to work forming a soft callus made of fibrous tissue and cartilage. This soft callus acts as a temporary bridge helping to close the gap between the broken ends of the bone and providing some stability to the bone. Then over the next several weeks, the soft callus is gradually replaced by a hard callus made of bone tissue. Specialized cells called osteoblasts deposit minerals like calcium and phosphorus, making the callus more rigid. This process can also result in the formation of excessive bone tissue around the region. So the body initiates the final stage of remodeling by sending specialized cells known as osteoclasts, whose job is to break down and reabsorb the extra tissues formed earlier. Over the course of several months, these cells work hard to restore the bone to its original shape. But despite their efforts, in some instances, a subtle irregularity or small bump may still be noticeable at the healing site. Over time, the bone gets all better and the person can start moving and playing again. However, as discussed, the time taken for the entire process will depend upon the type and location of the fracture, age and existing health condition. The cool part is, if you stick to what the doctor says, do some exercises, eat well, and take good care of the healing spot, your bone will be back in action right when it's supposed to. Trivia time! Did you know that the adult human body has 206 bones? Yes, out of them, the human hand, including the wrist, contains 54 bones. To learn more about bones, please check out our video on the same. Also, do not forget to like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you care for. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Ashrita Bipin. Hope you felt healed today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, 
Zooming out.